Which one is fake? Can you tell? Hi, I'm Jennifer Jensen reporting for GCTV News. For college students, there's a subject that almost everyone knows about, fake IDs. But what do they really know? These dangerous passports to nightlife can be very risky to have. According to research statistics, approximately 40% to 60% of college-age students have fake IDs, and many don't think twice about it. I wanted to discover why so many students had fake IDs and if they knew the risk of owning them. I spoke first with Georgia College Police. Well, the biggest problem is it's a crime. You can uh, you can go to jail. As a matter of fact, you can, I can take you out to the Baldwin County Sheriff's Department before presenting me with a fake ID like any of these. That's It's against the law for you to have more IDs than your one driver's license. Yeah. And I always tell them, you know, that's a crime. I could take you to the county and let everybody know that not only them, but the person that sold it to them, or if they've got their cousin's ID, they can get it, you know, they can get in just as much trouble as they can. Underage possession of alcohol is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, that ticket runs $960. Our opinion, the way we look at it most of the time, you got to couple that with doing something else stupid. You know, I'm not going, we don't go into bars looking for kids that are drinking underage. Um, if they're walking home quietly, if you know, I can pretty much tell you how old most of these college kids are by looking at them. If he's going home quietly, if he's stumbling a little bit, but he's okay, I'm not going to stop him, I'm not going to mess with him. Because, I mean, we don't make any money on it. There's no point in doing that, and it makes us look like jerks, you know. We'd rather get them home safe than cost mom and dad a thousand dollars, possibly get them kicked out of school. You know, they need to know how much trouble they can get in. Presenting it to a police officer as your identification can get you a night in jail and a, a lot worse than a, than a night having to be sober because you couldn't drink that night. I also spoke with a Georgia College student. Yes, I have. I have owned actually two fake IDs. It was like the cool thing to do at the time. A lot of people were having fake IDs. Um, a lot of my close friends had fake IDs and I um, didn't want to rely on guys buying me drinks downtown. I just kind of wanted to be able to have my own, you know, and kind of feel that, have that feeling of maturity or almost like as an adult by having a fake ID, so. I think the biggest problem with minors having fake IDs is that they almost become too confident with having it. Looking back, I probably would still have a fake ID, even though I know now all the repercussions that could happen to me. Um, it's just that I was in college, I was a freshman, getting into the bars and drinking, it was, was just so much easier having a fake ID. Well, there you have it, Georgia College. You've heard the pros and you've heard the cons of owning a fake ID. In my opinion, I would just wait till you're 21, but that's just me. This is Jennifer Jensen reporting for GCTV News.